Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Benchart here and today we are going to seek an alternative uh, that provides us the ability to use Steam Guard in our PC, Steam Authenticator uh, Guard in our PC. Uh, because uh, I'm a Windows Phone user, there are people with Blackberries, there are people with dumb phones that we don't have access to that app and we are punished with this stupid idea of being 15 days um, without having permission to sell anything. So I receive a case right now on CSGO, for example, uh, that values 15 cents and I needed to sell it. So I put 15 cents and press sell. What happens is that I need to wait 15 days and in 15 days the price of the case is completely different and so the business will be useless. So I made a petition before to help this but it didn't gain any strength at all. Uh, it was a very delusional thing. But now uh, I guess things aren't going to change. And so it says users, like always, that we need to adapt to the Steam wheel. And so, okay, I don't have an Android phone and uh, I don't have an iPhone. So let's search for Android emulators. So I'm going to show you how to install BlueStacks. It's an Android emulator, you can play there, you can do whatever mostly you want. So check if the website is correct for not being a victim of phishing. There you go. And do download. So wait a bit, the download will start automatically. Well, depends on your browser, of course. And uh, in case you are wondering if their website is that slow, not really. It's more like my internet connection that is very slow. This is usually what I get in my house. So let's cancel because I done this already. All right, I already have the download to save you. <laughs> it's here, so let's open it and let's speed up a little bit the video because nobody wants to, to wait for it. So there you go, it opens the installator, you choose the path, there are these things which I don't know if I can remove, and it installs, not this quickly of course, and let's start up the application. So this is what it looks like, so we need to search for Steam, but uh, suddenly Steam that don't exist, so we need to go to search it on Google Play Store, which is not uh, available as soon as you install Bluestack. So you need to add your account, which obviously I'm not going to show you. I'm gonna skip the process. Uh, you don't need these things, I guess. Backups and things that is for the smartphone. You just want Steam, obviously. So let's skip it up. It's going to ask you a lot more processes about logins, about your uh, Gmail account and things like that to enable these necessary things to access the Play Store on the Bluestacks. So I'm going to skip about these things. And there you go! Finally, Play Store! So there is no Steam Authenticator app, so the Steam Authenticator app is built in inside the Steam app. So we're going to install it and wait a little bit more for it, it's just 2 megabytes free and my internet connection is not that slow so there is a lot of notifications going on some people, <laughs> oh my god, some people are here commenting the same problem with this great, so you need to log into your steam account normally and there you go, this is the android app running on your computer through BlueStacks. So let's see how this works. That is your this thing, which I think I, I don't need because I already have activated. And this is the confirmation menu. This is where your sales are, your deals that you want to make. So let's go to my Steam account. Let's go to markets and see if I have uh, something pending. Not really. So let's see if I have something here that I can sell right now, so I can show you. And no, my weapons, no, no, no. Let's see, Team Fortress 2, I never played it. Oh, wait, I have here an item. And let's see, oh, one euro, that's something. Let's make the deal. 
at the same price tag as the other guy. Okay. Yes, I agree. Okay, okay, come on. That hat. And there you go, it says that I need to confirm or I will wait for 15 days as usually. Sorry to be in Portuguese. And there you go, it's in pending list, which says I need to confirm it, so I'm going to open Oh, not this. Blue stacks. And there you go. It's pending here. As you can see, so I can open it and see the details and confirm it. Let's wait a bit and there you go. It's already confirmed. I'm going to shut it off. This didn't refresh it, so I don't care. So there you go. But my main problem with Blue stacks is that it has a lot of processes running on the background consuming resources it's not ground it's not groundbreaking but i'm a little bit eh, i'm a little bit concerned with uh, things running on background there is even a, a startup there that i have already deactivated uh, but there is a lot of processes going on and that is something that i don't really like to have so boys and girls that's all hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that i helped someone that would be in the same situation as I am and better alternatives I think that will be coming coming in the future let's hope so so for now thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon I hope stay tuned for more news about this see you soon